Management. Without further hesitation, I would like to introduce you to you the Premier of Manitoba, Sir Rob Canoe. Well, as somebody who uh, grew up in a small community, I know how difficult it is to keep a secret. <laughs> and I gotta say, the, the amazing turnout here today is maybe a good reminder uh, of that. Uh, one thing that I actually did find a little surprising is, uh, you know, folks wondering like, oh, you know, what's it all about? Are you, is it good news or bad news? <laughs> and uh, so we'll, let me just cut straight to the chase and just say it is good news. We are here to announce construction of a personal care home for Lactabani for real this time. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get you out more often. <laughs> That's great. <good. laughs> uh, you know, uh, I would like to thank everyone in, in the community and in the region for your patience. This is something that's been uh, a long time coming. I know the uh, initial announcement was made some 12 years ago, and uh, the work, I know, has begun even, even longer ago than that. And that's why I said for real this time. We're not here to announce a, a commitment or a plan or feasibility. We're here to say there will be shovels in the ground this year. So I'm going to invite my uh, colleague, uh, the Minister of Health, up to, to walk us through some of the details of the good news here. But I just wanted to talk about the importance of this. Clearly, this is important uh, to Lactibani. Clearly, this is important to the whole region. Uh, so many folks uh, from across the East Man region here today. I want to thank you all for uh, driving out and for taking time. And speaking to people, uh, even just a few minutes that we had before uh, the announcement began. We heard stories about why this is needed so that we can have good quality care close to home. And I want to say that it's, it's needed for the region, for sure, but this is needed provincially. Our whole province is short of uh, long-term care beds. And that's having a big impact on seniors, a big impact on families, but it's also having an impact on our hospitals. And so this investment is needed in order for us to be able to improve health care here, but also right across Manitoba. Uh, 